Hey everyone, now we will use the tools of aggregate demand and aggregate supply to illustrate both Say's law and Keynes law. The approach is dividing the short run aggregate supply curve into three different zones. The first one is the Keynesian zone that is on the far left, the flatter proportion of the short run aggregate supply curve. The next part we have the intermediate zone and after that the steeper or the vertical portion close to vertical portion of the short run aggregate supply curve we have the neoclassical zone. If you look at the far left of the short run aggregate supply curve we have the Keynesian zone. So we see that in this Keynesian zone the level of real gross domestic product is below potential gross domestic product. So this one is potential gross domestic product. And definitely running a recession and unemployment rate is high. If aggregate demand increases or decreases, this will change the real gross domestic product. As well as unemployment so what we mean to say here is aggregate demand is the determining factor in the output level and unemployment rate so we do not really have to worry about price increase or decrease in this Keynesian zone if the aggregate demand shifts real gross domestic product will shift by a lot now let us look at the far right where the equilibrium is near the potential gross domestic product like if i look at this part here close to the potential gross domestic product the cyclical unemployment is low because we are close to potential gdp and in this neoclassical zone, if we shift the aggregate demand to the right or to the left, it will have little effect on output or unemployment rate. The way to increase real gross domestic product is to shift the aggregate supply curve to the right. So to increase real GDP, we have to shift the aggregate supply curve to the right. Unlike the Keynesian zone, the aggregate demand curve does not really play a role in this neoclassical zone. However, if we increase aggregate demand, it's just going to increase the price level. After that, we finally consider the intermediate zone. So we can look at a point like E1 where the aggregate demand is intersecting the short run aggregate supply curve. If we increase aggregate demand, price is going to increase. So if I increase aggregate demand, price will increase. This is going to cause inflation to go up and unemployment to go down and this is between the Keynesian zone and the neoclassical zone so that's it for now thank you very much